Hello there, children. Don't forget to brush your teeth, otherwise the diddler will come and get you at night. April 3rd, 2024. I uploaded a long-form video essay to YouTube after a delay in the editing process. Two days later, I was approached on Discord by a former moderator of The Accused. I declined further conversation as I deemed my involvement to be concluded. As it turns out, I should have listened. I'm not gonna say I told you so or anything of that sort because that would simply not be fitting. All I am gonna say is I fucking told you since sex crimes are bad or <laughs> The video I had made back then, it received some backlash from a lot of commenters in the comment section. And to all of you out there, uh, don't worry, I'm not mad. Everybody falls for bullshit sometimes. I, somebody gets caught up in their own bullshit. It, it, so as long as you realize in the end that you were wrong and you change your opinion and you become a better person and hopefully try to not fall for similar things in the future, it's all fine. I don't want an apology. I don't care. Simply do better. Look at the things that you're presented. Try to understand the signs of whether someone's a good person, whether somebody's a bad person. I don't claim to be a good person, but basically make up your own mind. Don't just blindly follow somebody because just because somebody's famous, just because somebody's relevant, doesn't mean that they're correct. Doesn't mean they're good. Sometimes it simply just means they got relevant either by sheer brute force, by making about 1500 crap videos, or they're eccentric. And eccentrism sometimes results in the fiddling. But anyway, back to my original video. There was a lot of things, for example, that I also did wrong in that video. Like, for example, it didn't come out April 1st because it took nine hours to upload. Chapter 4 was way too long. I'd also, I missed the focus in the basement, which is kind of a bit annoying. And I also expected there to not be a reply video because that's what I was told, right? And it would be very useful because after the reply video happened, the comments and the comment quality on my video essay, it, it did tank quite significantly. Now, I have not watched that reply video, and I won't ever be able to because the entire Doodles Blitz channel and all the other ones, which I'll get to later, have already been completely deleted. I have a transcript of the video, but I'm just, I have it, so I'm not gonna read it. I would simply just want to make one point right here because I was sent uh, this screenshot. I have a question. If I say, I'm not going to make clickbait videos, and then I do. That's hypocrisy, right? But if I say, here's how clickbait works, and then I use it, where is that hypocrisy, dear sir? Well, actually, let's keep beating that dead horse for uh, another minute, because it's not gonna feel anything anyway. So, I did make a comment under the reply video. That one was deleted. How do I know that? Because this one wasn't. So, I think we can all assert that a lot of comments that were disagreeing were deleted over the years and that is already a very good indication of somebody not being very trustworthy if they simply delete any criticism. I mean, I don't even delete comments that insult me. I mean, you can do that in the comment section. I don't care. But yeah, basically, nobody has the answer to everything and nobody can claim to be completely faultless. But admitting that, Seen as a weakness by some, often followers of competent sounding, yet entirely incompetent internet personalities. One of my habits now is ignoring all data. The market is dominated by lobsters. Let's be honest, it's always the guys you expect it to be. Half the time you just gotta bend over and take it, because you're not gonna win. I have to start this section by making very clear that the things being said next are not legally established facts, and therefore must be seen as allegations. I will not attempt to assert the validity of the material, nor will I rate the quality of the material. What follows is a summary of events as they unfolded and what information I have access to at this time, which is in the public domain, as well as my personal opinion on each point, and further text I have obtained via direct message and I have permission to share. Remember, the situation can change depending on what happens after the video has already been released. Now, Wargaming acted quickly and immediately removed the soon-to-start quest for Doodles Blitz and made a statement on the Discord server, which is the correct thing to do, so I appreciate Wargaming for acting very quickly there. However, what I have to criticize is the Dr. Disrespect, Camouflage, and Avatar are still in the game right now, and 
I would also have to criticize why working with Judas Blitz wasn't stopped earlier when there was already so many incidents that occurred before. The amount of time I pushed him was about, eh, about 10 seconds, and that was it. So I pushed him for about 10 seconds, and then I ignored him for the rest of the game. That I did the right thing, and every single person in the comment section agreed with me, and yet your company is thinking that I did the wrong thing. In the past, my unbridled passion and the urge to voice out the concerns have sometimes crossed boundaries. On Thursday, somebody jumped at Discord server and asked me, what about the dual situation? I was like, honestly... I'm happy that I don't have to hear about him, hopefully, ever again. That, that's the good that I draw from this situation. But there was also a Discord server created where all of the allegations and alleged evidence was then posted. And that server also seemed to be a fan of a particular Austrian painter. No, 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 not that one. This one. Now, obviously, once these allegations came out, obviously, Jules tried to defend himself by saying something about the law and about the, oh, it's not that bad. And given that previously threatened me with a section of YouTube guidelines that specifically allow pieces of satire, I would have also assumed that his knowledge of the law is limited to none. Maybe this could have been predicted. Maybe somebody could have said something a long time ago that something like this could even happen. This isn't a video about me getting canceled. I haven't made a slip up or something stupid yet. I probably will, everybody does. But uh, that's not what I'm worried about and uh, hopefully I won't ever have to worry about that on this channel. That's what I call proper foreshadowing. And most YouTubers in the end end up having kids or having kids. And then on Friday, Spacebutt, one of the highest ranking members of the Jules Blitz Discord server, posted this statement and has also given me some uncensored material from multiple people. I've ensured myself to not be sent anything illegal and I have not yet opened the material, but I have access to uncensored material. If that's ever going to be useful, I'll probably just never open it because... I don't want to look at that and I definitely don't recommend you look at it either because I have seen a further piece of evidence that was even more damning than the first. Then the channels of Jules Blitz started disappearing and they were essentially entirely gone by Saturday. Before all of the channels disappeared, another Jules Blitz channel was found. This one with a tier list that was particularly damning. I'll just put this little picture up here on the screen for you to enjoy because honestly, two weeks, two weeks as if he, I mean, he made the apology video two years ago where he's like, oh, I hope nothing bad ever happens. And then two weeks ago, he makes the video where he ranks pedos and now- Did you make a penis? Dude, what is wrong with you? What also happened is a 30 minute long exposure video with a spreadsheet with a lot of evidence in it and I've made the unfortunate error of opening said spreadsheets and there. Uh, oh yes, hold on a sec. The person that made this video is the exact same person, Andy Poe, that contacted me two days after my original video and I kind of do regret not talking about it sooner because if I would have accepted the information at the time, maybe all of this wouldn't have unfolded as it did. So obviously because of that, the channels were deleted and God. Obviously I have to point out now that uh, all the support should be with the victims and that there should be in no way further things committed that would make this situation any way worse by uh, leaking someone's address or harassing somebody's family. That is not the point here. All support should go towards the victims of this situation and should ideally stand together as a community and then move on from this situation eventually because I'm not going to cover it any further. However, if you are right now in a situation of stress, if something is happening to you that you don't think is correct, always talk about it or maybe seek other help don't seek better help that is a scammy company don't do that but if you are in need of help don't hesitate to look for it
The dude is questionable. Has been the entire time. And the more popular he got, the more confident he became in his ability and in his truth, essentially, that he can do no wrong, that he is the one. He even bragged about things like writing the book on Blitz content. I don't think that uploading three unedited videos a day is really writing the book on anything, but uh, what happened here is that he kind of got high on his own supply. Right? Like, he started getting famous, he started getting more attention, all of his fanboys ran to defend him wherever a tiny little bit of criticism came up. So he was kind of high on supply and thought that he can do whatever he wanted, including that. Especially that can be seen by what I think is the attempt at justifying what he did at first. And then when he figured that um, the evidence essentially and the reaction is overwhelming. I mean, we saw hundreds of, of comments about this situation, about him sending explicit material to a minor. Um, on his World Tanks PC channel, even on his GTA channel, these comments were everywhere. And at first, he tried to delete them. That's what an innocent... I think deleting things is what an innocent person does, right? But I'm not sure. Like, I'm not saying anybody's guilty, but... Eh, I don't know. But yeah, the comments started disappearing. The channels then started disappearing. So I think we can now conclude that it is all over. Now, from a legal sp standpoint, as you might or might not know that Fujit Blitz is actually a lawyer, so I asked him uh, what he thinks uh, of this, but obviously this is just a speculation and a opinion as well, but essentially because there was no like physical interaction, I mean, how could there be somebody that never leaves his room? He's never going to be able to have a physical interaction with anybody really i mean last time i checked amazon doesn't deliver children that's just how i am i'm sadistic however clickbait garbage is something that i don't like to all of you that did support him look at yourself what have you done wrong where did you miss a critical piece of evidence because i don't want an apology i already said that ask yourself what can you do better? Don't just blindly believe the next person to appear as well. Don't do that. Don't blindly believe anybody on the internet. Always try to find out whether something is truthful or not. I already said that in the first video essay. You always want to check your sources. And if somebody says that they are the answer, then they are definitely not. And obviously, in the original video, I said that he's a liar and a fraud. That was my opinion, but I did also say that he's not a terrible person, and I would kind of like to take that back now. I mainly said it because I don't like being sued. I can only reiterate what I've been saying for a long time now. I'm not mad. I'm just very disappointed. Now, some people told me I should take the role of news and tank reviews, but I neither have the passion nor interest in fully committing to this task. Let me let me show you this. Like, I don't care about maybes in World of Tanks Blitz, right? When there are balance changes. I, until this very moment, have no idea what the balance changes in the next update are going to be. I'm gonna look at them once they're released, and then I'll take a look and see whether they're good or not. That's my approach. However, I will make videos, I will make tank reviews, but I have no intention of spamming low quality content. I might change up the shop reviews a little bit and like review the vehicles that I recommend in more detail, things like that. But at this point, I'm playing this game for 10 years and I've already said everything. There is only one thing left to say. Oh, I just nutted all over him, bro. I lied, I nutted again. I nutted again. All over him too. I mean, bro is just covered. The Blitz community simply deserves better.